right. So how long have you guys been performing? Um, so I've been performing, let's see, um, it's been about 17 years now. And um, yeah, I uh, uh, was going to school at the time, doing a jazz studies uh, course in, um, or sorry, a jazz studies program in BC. And then, uh, you know, as I was going to school, I gradually started to perform. Um, and uh, one of the ways uh, that I got started, one of the regular bands that I played in at the time was um, Lackey Tercel and his Roma Swing Ensemble, which is uh, loosely associated with the style of music I play now, which is um, jazz minouche, or also known as gypsy jazz. And that's the, uh, the hot swing um, uh, jazz style that was first started by a Romani guitar player by the name of Django Reinhardt. That's really interesting. I will be honest, I've never heard of gypsy jazz. That's yeah, it's not, uh, it's like a very niche genre, subgenre of jazz. Um, and it's very, I guess the thing that sets it apart the most is like, it's very guitar oriented. So, you know, most of the musicians who perform in the style are guitar players. And then, um, yeah, the other most common instruments would be like clarinet and violin. So it's very much based off of like the swing era of of jazz from like the 1930s and 40s. Oh, that sounds fantastic. What about you, James? Well, I should probably clarify the the arrangement that uh, under which Tack is coming north. Just I don't know if this is, uh, I'm sure you'll edit this, but uh, Tack and, and the the group that he's playing with up here have, have never played together before. Um, part of the Night Owl series is that we we bring up people who pair with locals. Uh, and it's it's a, a unique experience in that they, there is no uh, or, or little premeditation. So these, these these individuals are playing together for the first time. The night that they're performing, they're playing together for the first time. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be it's, exciting and a little scary, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's a little both. Yeah, it's it's we've been we've been doing this this series now for about uh, seven months. We've had someone up every week. Uh, with from a range of of, uh, of of talents and instruments, and uh, so far it's been a really great time. And so that's uh, for this particular performance. The Sudbury Performance Group is is uh, is coming along for the ride and and uh, supporting us, and uh, which is great. Uh, but it's going to be a, a regular Thursday uh, event. Yeah. Great, great. I've been playing. I've been playing out. I would say. Uh, it's about 2005, 2004. So what does that put me? Almost 20 years now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, good. I, start, I, I started with some, some music theater stuff and then uh, I ended up uh, touring the East Coast with a big band and started doing clubbing gigs. So I have no formal music education, but uh, that's that's my brief story. Okay. Well, good. So for this question is for both of you to answer. What is, um, how does, um, being a northerner helps shape your you as an artist and the way you perform and what you perform i guess would be another part of that question i think i'll, I'll always defer tack to answer first but i think this, this will be a tough one for him yeah if you want to go ahead james but um yeah because technically i i um depend on depends on what you mean by northerner but i'm not from sudbury i'm from bc and then I'm based in Toronto now, so I'm not sure if that would qualify. But um, you know, if I if I were to say how does the the geography kind of shape um, who I am as an artist, I would say um, that well, I'm from BC, and my background is Japanese. My parents are Japanese, um, and uh, I'm the first generation born in Canada. And so, you know, being from a coastal area, there's also like a fairly large Japanese community in, in uh, Vancouver, where I'm from. And so, you know, growing up, I've managed to be fairly in touch with my cultural background. Um, you know, I do feel like I identify, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, strongly as a Canadian, but also, you know, I grew up with uh, watching like Japanese TV shows and uh, cartoons and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and now that has 
been a, a larger part of my music that I perform as well. So,、um, you know, for a number of years, I've been playing this style of music called gypsy jazz, and that's、uh, very much like.、Um, Django Reinhardt was active in France for a large part, so it has a large,、uh, like, French influence from the Bal Musette tradition from France, and、uh, that was fused with North American swing jazz, and that became Django Reinhardt's thing. And then what I'm doing now is that I'm combining that with some of my Japanese background, so I'm playing, you know, Japanese songs. Um, and creating, you know, songs that have that kind of influence, and also playing songs by American musicians who have had a chance to do things like tour in Japan or had some sort of cultural exchange with Japan, and felt inspired to write music based on their experiences. So, yeah,、um, you know, my music is kind of like exploring the crossroads between between the two cultures, or as Three cultures, I guess. Yeah, three. I was, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Three, but I think that's a fantastic thing to bring to the Northern Arts Festival. Yeah, thank you. I, I've, I've really been enjoying learning his tunes. They're they're just gorgeous. Great selections.、Uh, yeah. Well, If I were、good. trying to answer that question, I guess I guess.、Um, It's, it's it's a smaller jazz community up here, so you you play with a lot of you get to know a lot of the locals.、Uh, would become good friends, and、so、part of the series at the Night Owl was about bringing people up to play with with a small jazz community up here. It's like sort of a, a community initiative in that sense, because there's about a half dozen of us who, who、uh, play reasonably well and and、uh, can can hack it with with most. And there's there's a good history of of, of prominent jazz artists coming from Sudbury, and so.、Um, That, uh, it's part of the initiative itself. It's a, sort of a cultural exchange between destinations in the south,、uh, southern part of Ontario, I guess, and、uh, North America, and、uh, Sudbury, by having guests come up every week. Yeah. So, what is it that、um, both of you are looking forward to having the audience take from your performance from this very first, this first time of you playing together? Yeah. Well, we so... described this、uh, as, oh, as a, ahead, James. We described it as, well. It's, it's, I, I have to.、Um, I, don't, I don't think Tack really knows what to expect as yet because this, this is a surprise to him as, as well. But、uh, well, he knows what the, the what the function is or how, what he's getting, getting involved with. But I tend to describe it to the artists coming up and to the audience on the night of that it's it's sort of like a musical first date,、yeah. and and.、Uh, It could, it could it could go well and it could go poorly,、uh, but the energy is still the same, and that's part of the excitement of the event. Is that these these artists are getting together for the first time and trying to use a language that they if they've struggled or at least I've struggled my whole life to learn and to try and make poetry、uh, in in a way that's natural and organic. And there's special performances because as as you know there's. It's a special and unique because they haven't happened before, and they're, they're just they're just people naturally making music.、Uh, Together as a, on the fly, and sort of exercising the, the culture of jazz, as it were. Yeah. So,、um, did you say that this is your first time being part of the Northern Arts Festival, at least in this capacity? Are we talking about me or or Tack? Yes, you, James. Obviously, Tack. You too.、Uh, well, I've been involved. I think last year. With the、uh, Dixie Dixie Group, I was a banjo player for them, and then I think in previous years, Brian Quebec and I have done a few things. But、uh, yeah. Okay. So, what do you think is going to be the best part about being part of the Northern Arts Festival this year? Community engagement. I mean, it's it's lovely to be part of a an organization that、uh, that's promoting or promoting local music and and、uh, putting it at、uh, front and center for a whole week. Yeah. Well, good. Well,、um, thank you both for your time, and on behalf of Sudbury Performance Group, thanks for being part of the Northern Arts Festival. I think your show is going to be great. Definitely one to watch. Yeah, thank you, and、uh, I'm looking forward to it. Like、uh, James said, it's like、um, it's a first time for me having some kind of contact with the the Sudbury jazz scene, and and honestly, I wasn't even aware that there was a scene、uh, until more recently when he reached out to me. So. Yeah, it's、um, exciting for sure, and、uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, well, good. Well, thanks so much, and we're looking forward to seeing you perform. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, have a good、Take、day.、Care.
Yeah, bye. you too. Bye-bye.